Hey guys, welcome to another Tip Tuesday. How's it going? It's Chuck, Nick, and we're back with more tips. Today we're going to focus on templates and starting off a little basic, everyone knows that templates can be used to make equipment to automatically populate certain fields when they're creating a new piece. So let's say we want to make a new caliper C-04 here and we'll link it to our caliper 0 to 6 inches. That is one of the templates we have made before this video. We create. And here we have fields automatically populated. Now you didn't see me type any of these in because they're being pulled straight from the template and they're in red so they're unable to be changed here in the equipment view by normal means. Well, wait a minute. They're unable to be changed. What if I want to change it? Well, that's not entirely true. You can change your template itself and edit all of the things that it is linked to at the same time. So if I open up my template editor and I look at the template caliper 06 inch, which is what we're connected to, and I want it to be a dial instead. I click OK and it pushes it out to every piece of equipment that we have connected to it. Now, there is a way to do it per equipment. So say you want a specific piece of equipment to be a little bit different than the rest of the ones that it shares a template with. Nick has a way to show you how to do that by unlinking certain fields by hand. All right, guys. So we have these fields that were brought over. They're red. We can't edit them. So on individual equipment, if let's say this dial is something else, or maybe the description is something else, we can come down here to template links. We hit edit and we get a long list of all the things that are linked by this template. You'll see a checkbox next to them. So if I go in here and I uncheck description, it turns the field from red to blue. And then if I go and I hit on this, I can change this field to something else, right? So if I didn't want it to say caliper, I could just delete it, hit the checkbox, and then now that is a new description that I can modify this equipment with. The next thing that we want to show you guys is, let's say um, we create a gauge with a template and it brings in all the fields that we want to bring in. That's great, but what if we have a piece of equipment that is not tied to a template that we want to retroactively tie to a template? So let's go back to one of those other gauges that Charles was looking at, and we'll find one like C-01 that's not tied to anything. So we go in here and we look at the template links and we hit edit. We then have a space right here with three dots. We click on that. And we can then select from our list of all of our templates. So we select uh, our caliper, 0 to 6 inch, hit OK. And then it's going to ask us if we want to add all of those fields into here. So we say yes and OK. And it checks all of the boxes um, that we already pre-established in our template editor. Once I hit OK, all of those fields are populated into C-01. Now, one field that we haven't shown you yet is going to be our test points. So I created test points in the template itself, and those have been pushed into this gauge retroactively. So if you guys um, can think of any ideas that you would like to utilize this process with, it's a great way to save you time um, and not have to build those test points for each individual gauge. And if you forget to create a gauge with a test point, or with a template rather, you can always go back and link it. Anything else, Charles? I think we pretty much hit the nail on the head with that one. We'll see you guys next Tuesday. Take care.